Hello, I'm André Groß and I'm a field application engineer and software developer at Holger Germany. This video is part of introduction videos for the NetX90 chip. In this video, I'd like to show you where to find information regarding the chip, the interfaces, the stacks, the software and basically everything. We deliver our information, documentations and everything through our knowledge base to you. This knowledge base is available on kb.hilscher.com. Here you're seeing ser uh, several fields. For example, here the first field, it's the field where uh, the area where micro the network controllers are located. And here we see the field for the Netix family. And down here you will find further information on our other microchips and also here on the NetX90. Down here do you see a download area, an FHQ area, newer, now not here in the picture, but it's now there, an area where videos are distributed, available. And here in the download area, you find several informations, for example, here a mass production, uh, technical data reference guide, um, also a design in guide, a production guide, and several getting started guide, and several other documents you might need to get running in the NetX90 topic. On this uh, area here, um, on several levels uh, up again, we find the development board area where uh, documentation for the development uh, board is published. For example, here the NetX90 JTAG board and then here the NetX90 JTAG development board documentation. And in this documentation, you also find the schematics of this uh, development board. So you have a base where you can start your own designs on. On top again, we see here the technology area. In this technology area, we provide you with uh, all the stacks that are available from Hilger. And depending on which microchip you have, you will have s different stacks available to you. And if you have uh, licensed them and everything. But here you can click, for example, on Profinet device, and then you get into a page below it. And here you see the several stack generations, versions, um, which Profinet specification, for example, is your part of which stack. And then if you go here into the releases, you then see on the release page, which um, known issues are there, which changes have been performed. And down here you see which Profinet IO device version, which stack version is available for which chip. On the next um, area here on the top again, we find the software area. In the software area, we have several interesting parts um, where that we deliver to you. Um, I'd like to start here with our loadable firmware host examples. Um, here you may choose the Profinet example uh, again and then here you choose the NetX90 for example as a platform and then you have here the download area where you can download um, the stack examples we provide you with. Aside of the loadable firmware host example area we have here the NetX peripheral driver area and the NetX studio area. On the peripheral driver area, we provide you with a package, just the peripheral drivers on their own, together with um, a pre-compiled Doxygen documentation so that you do not have to compile it on your own and just can look it up directly. Down in the example area, there are examples for our drivers, for example, for the SPI, for the UART, where you can start on and get a feeling how to use them, how to configure um, the microchip, and also in different um, programming models, for example, in DMA mode, polling mode, or interrupt mode. And on the right side, you see our development environment, NetX Studio, available for download in the different release versions, where you're able to download NetX Studio, install it then on your PC, and make use of 
those examples, packages we provide you with and everything. The next area here is the documentation area. In the documentation area, I always recommend um, to expand here on the left the documents folder and down here under this folder we have two key documents I always explain. The first one is the dual port memory documentation area. In this documentation area the dual port memory is, is explained. Dual port memory is basically the key interface where you communicate from your application to our stacks and so into the network. Down here we have the protocol API manuals. They are the um, the manuals, how you use those stacks to communicate, really communicate, not just the dual port memory is the interface and then behind the interface there's a stack and in the protocol API manuals you get explained how to communicate with those stack parts behind this interface. Down here the protocol stack component API manuals, they're uh, also quite nice documentations because they explain uh, stack components for example like um, TCP IP stack or the web server and something you want to uh, probably to communicate with and down here below we see the Hilsha status and error codes area in this area there's a document published containing all the states and error codes inside our uh, environment and for example if you communicate um, through the same communication channel via the dual port memory uh, for example where the um, TCP IP stack is located and the web server is located and you get an error message you do not find in your web server documentation it could probably be from the TCP IP stack uh, TCP IP socket interface and then you're able to to look up there in this general documentation where what what error is it then you see oh okay it's uh from the tcp ip socket interface and then you can look up this specific documentation and find out what the issue or what whatever it is that whatever happened in the background However, if you do not find enough information on the knowledge base, you're always free to write an email to our ticket system. It's available at netxsupport at hilcher.com and the people out of the support department will try to resolve your issue as soon as possible. If you're not able to write an email or do not know how to formulate the problem you're having concretely, you're always free to call us on landline. Here in Germany, the netic support is available at um, this landline number at a 97. The customer center is available at a 91 and you always can call the switchboard and they will redirect your call down uh, into which department and whatever, whatever person you have to speak with. I hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for further tutorials and introductions. See you soon.